Today we're going to take a look at 2038 Heritage Loop. This is a great four bedroom, two and a half bath house at Emmons Preserve. It's got hardy plank siding, hardwood floors, tankless on demand gas hot water heater, gas fireplace, screened in porch. Really a great house all the way around. This has been used as a second home and this house shows like a model and uh, it's in great condition. Pretty much brand new condition. When you walk in, got a nice foyer area here. Stairs leading up. We will end up upstairs eventually. Got a great dining area here. Now, this doesn't have to be used as a dining room, but the couple that owns this home loves to entertain. And they have this area set up as a dining room. They've added some really nice pendant lights in here. And look, they've got crown molding, picture frame molding, chair rail molding. Nice, bright, airy room right here at the front of the house. you come down the hallway here on our right we have a powder room I like this powder room because it is away from the main living area and away from the dining room kind of tucked away down the hallway there's the front door there's also a laundry room here washer dryer they actually added some cabinets above the washer dryer here which is nice There is a coat closet off this laundry room. This is a nice, big, deep closet. And then here's a double car garage. Big garage that's finished off. Got one car in here, a couple bicycles. Uh, this is a tankless on-demand hot water heater. You never have to worry about having hot water again. Very fuel efficient, uh, cost effective. If you want hot water, you've got it. If you're not here and don't want hot water, it doesn't cost you a thing. Really nice feature. Let's move on to my favorite area of the house. And that is this fantastic kitchen great room combination. Look at this. We've got a nice kitchen here, stainless steel appliances. Breakfast nook, all hardwood floors. And then this great living area. Look at all the light in here. We've got built-in bookshelves, gas fireplace, space above the fireplace for a flat screen. This is just a great room. I'm going to walk around this room. Nice high smooth ceilings, crown moldings, ceiling fan. You can see the breakfast nook here and a really good shot of the bar in the kitchen area. This is a really neat house. Of course, you go down the hallway here, it leads back into the room that they're using as a dining room now. Let's see those pendant lights. It's a nice big pantry here, too. Get a nice shot of the kitchen area here. Corian countertops. And the view from the sink into the living room. This house also has a nice, big, screened-in porch. Nice, big, screened-in porch here. So big, in fact, there's not one, but two ceiling fans. There's also a gas line out here, so you've got a gas grill 
if you look, we've got a gas line that runs to the grill. So you don't have to have a propane tank anymore. You can just run straight off the natural gas that's going into the house. I'm going to step out back, kind of pan around and let you see what the back of the house looks like. I can unlock the door. Nice backyard area here. No houses behind this house. No house will be built to the, to the side of this house either. Then you've got the back of the home here. Nice big screened in porch. Really pretty. Some of you that are used to my videos will note that this one's a little longer than normal. I'm trying to move slowly. Well, my shots are a little bit steadier than they have been in the past. Again, shot of the living area, fireplace, built in shelving. This house has a first floor master bedroom. What else has smart thermostats? Look at this master. This is a big master bedroom. Look at all the space here. Smooth ceilings, tray ceiling, ceiling fans, lots of light. I'm just going to walk around and kind of give you more of a panoramic view of how big the bedroom is. I've got a ton of room between the dresser and the actual bed. And then of course we've got to also have a big master bath here. Double sinks. Nice high sink top here. Big mirror. Hello. We have a large step-in shower as well as a large garden tub. We have a nice size walk-in closet here. Like I said, this house was used as a second home, so there's not a lot of clothing in here. And we have a separate door that leads back to the water closet. Really nice master suite. Let's walk upstairs and take a look at the uh, three guest bedrooms and guest bath that's upstairs, as well as the living area that's upstairs. Got a great room upstairs here. I've got it set up as a little media room with a nice couch, flat screen TV. There's like a whole nother living area here. Lots of windows, lots of light. And then there are three bedrooms up here. All three of these bedrooms are good size too. Got one guest room here. Again, you can see the lots of windows, lots of light, ceiling fan, a really good sized room. There are two more guest rooms up here as well. Guest room number two is also a great size. And then guest room number three. This room is empty right now. You get a nice size guest room here. And then last but not least, you have a full bath here. Double sinks. Again, nice high countertops. Full bath here. This is a great 
four bedroom, two and a half bath house with a double car garage here in Emmons Preserve. It's in the market for only $274.9. Uh, I believe it's the least expensive four bedroom house for sale in the entire neighborhood. This house is in immaculate shape. Uh, only used as a second home, shows like a model. Uh, this one won't last long. For information on this house and other houses in Market Common and in Myrtle Beach in general, give me a call. My name is Jay Benoit. You can reach me at 843-222-9135. Thanks and have a great day.